Hey y'all, Love Biscuit here, and we are on the fifth, I think fifth quest for my Norn Engineer. We're doing um, Shape of the Spirit. And I actually want to go ahead and take this time to apologize for being, taking so long getting out these uh, videos from the second beta weekend. It just, you know, this isn't my job, guys. I do this for fun, so I get it out as fast as I can, and I just did it a little different. But this one, I actually turn it into the shape of a minotaur. Yay! By Raven's Beak! I'm a minotaur! Thank you, spirit. I'll put your blessing to good use. Hey, over here. Looks like we got a straggler. Um, Moo? I better get it in the pen before Vidkun sees one got loose. Come on, you stupid bovine. Fresh meat for the beast. The more Dragon's champion eats, the more it wants to eat. Yeah, cow, move it! Um, move. Follow me over here to the pen. But um, for this part, we go ahead and get into the pen here with all the other minotaurs, and then we have to talk to um two other minotaurs. They have to be adults, apparently. But um, at the time, I was just trying to talk to anything because I didn't actually read the quest. That's right. I'm really known for rushing through things, so. But um, yeah, guys. So just remember, I do do this for fun. I do not do this. For any other reason, um, I'm glad we I don't make money off of my thing. Um, if I did, I would probably yeah, get things out quicker, true. as it was, you know, but part of my income. But it's not. I do this for fun, so um, how are we going to make more of us? it's just how it is. So I'm sorry that it's just taken me so long to get these videos out. I've just been busy being a mom and stuff, so. Um, yeah, but hopefully I can get better at this as time goes on. And I also did it differently where I capped it and then voiced it. I like it better when I voice it as I play, and because then I can just take it, snip it where I need to, and then bam, I'm done. <laughs> Instead of putting the video together and then watching it and then, you know, voicing it and, you know, making sure that I get everything just right, because I'm, I'm really crazy about making sure things are just right. But, um, I didn't exactly like this quest. Um, I liked it in the fact that it was actually something different. I'm a, I'm a Minotaur, right? But only two of the adults that I talked to, I guess, came out of the pen with me to attack the, uh, excuse me, the Svanir, um, guys. And, um, it you know, it's like you kill them and then you're like, oh, thank God, they're dead, but then you have another wave. And I don't remember which wave it is, but the two adult minotaurs that are helping me stop helping me. They just stand there, and I think they end up dying at one point. I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to watch it. I don't remember. It's been a while. Um, but yeah, so there is the last beta weekend, um, the 20th of this month, and I'm really excited about it. They are actually bringing out the Silvari and the Azura, so I'm planning on doing some capping for that, and, um... I'm actually going to work it out where I have enough time to actually sit down and play and voice it so that I can get them out to like, the same day that I play. It'll be <laughs> it'll be easier for me, and um, but I'm working that out because uh, there's not a lot about the Silvari or the Azura, so it'll be really cool to see. I'm excited about it. But, um, yeah, so... They're really cool, I think. The, um, the Silvari look really neat, and, um, the Azura I'm not that interested in, but, um, I still want to see their story. I don't, I'm just really not into, like, I know some people like playing little gnomes or whatever type of characters, but I'm really not into that. But, you know what, I say that now, and I may fall in love with them when I finally get to play, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's what always happens to me. I'm like, eh, I'm really not into it. And then I ask myself later, why did I, you know, why did I not play them? Okay, and this is the part where the Minotaur guys just stand there, and I'm like, what the F? So I brought them over to them thinking maybe they'll help me, and they still just stand there. So um, I don't know if it's some sort of bug, but I did write it in with the beta that, you know, it's cool that, you know, I did get help, but then my help sort of ran out, and then me taking on all of them by myself, because there was, what, three or four sons of Spawnier, and then, um, two, two other dogs. So, 
It kind of worked out that I did die because then I could take on like one at a time. That's a cool move, right? But it's also like you don't know the attacks and things like that, and you have to read them and figure out what the F they do. But of course, you know, the first one is just the typical one. There's a charge and a knockback and things like that. So, I mean, I think that this quest was really neat. I just think that it, they needed to make sure that the Minotaurs actually um, help. <laughs> Not just stand there, I guess. Maybe I'm just being greedy. But, yeah. But I thought that I, I really do like the different kind of quests. Like here, I was a Minotaur, and um, I don't know. I think I really like the Norn area a lot. I was running around in the Norn, and they found um, one where you play snowball. You throw snowballs at little kids, and there was another one where you had to keep feet away from the rabbits. And it was really funny because the rabbits come out of their hole, and you only have so much time, and they'll knock you over and steal the food. Ha! Huh. Run free, beasts! Don't forget to wipe the sons of Svanir off your hooves. I am grateful, spirit. Your blessing made all the difference. And as soon as I find air, all three of us will hunt down Vidkun and his dragon beast and end this once and for all. But that was the last, or the fifth, fifth quest? Shape of the Spirit for my Engineer Nord. I hope you guys liked it. I'm Love Biscuit, and I'll see you guys soon. Mine.